Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Broman Brapsody. This is day 15 of my epic coast to coast 18 days with an R18 trip for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. I'm riding to raise funds and spread awareness for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation. Uh, they are a foundation that helps kids and their families of uh, kids who are diagnosed with the deadliest form of childhood cancer which is the pediatric brain tumor and they help their families with uh, with treatment, with support, with training and uh, they also fund research into uh, pediatric brain tumor uh, the great organization and the great cause I'm writing for them, this is day 18 I'm on my way back to the east coast to Raleigh, North Carolina today I'm here in Valentine, Nebraska this was the stop for the night uh, and I'm gonna head out try to get into Missouri tonight here is my 2022 BMW R18 Transcontinental that's provided to me by BMW Motorrad USA huge shout out to them and the BMW Performance Center in Greer, South Carolina and also a huge shout out to my friends and the awesome folks at Motorcycles of Greensboro for the gear the advice for making this happen huge 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 shout out still a lot of lots of miles to go so without further ado let's go ow, ow, ow. yeah it was a cold night last night so I had everything turned on all the heated stuff my hands are burning up so so this bike comes with heated seats and heated grips to access that go into settings i had these turned on last night because i was cold uh go into heating heated grips either at level three go to level zero okay go back same with the seats uh level zero okay so that's a cool thing this comes with heated heated stuff heated seats and heated grips and we are off today and we are going through this beautiful countryside in Nebraska. It's a gorgeous, beautiful day to ride, man. Every day is a beautiful, beautiful day to ride. And you know, this, none of this would have been possible without some of our sponsors. So a uh, huge shout out to our friends at Motorcyclist Map. They're an app built by motorcyclists for motorcyclists. And they have a bunch of cool spots, cool places, routes, abandoned prisons, you name it. They have a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, then again, our partners at Lunar Lens. There are pixologists that make all these pictures look good. And last but not least, our friends at Fusion 9, the latest and greatest Indo-Chinese restaurant in the Research Triangle Park. <laughs> thanks, thank you guys for all of your support and thanks to, our, to my viewers. You all made this possible. I've been doing this for 15 days now and three more days to go. I am enjoying myself. And I've been riding this motorcycle for a long time, so let's talk about one of the features today, huh? Today, let's talk about the storage space on this on this motorcycle. So it's got two saddlebags and a whole tool pack. Uh, to access the saddlebags, press that button. As long as it's unlocked, this thing pops open. Pull it up, and there you go. It's a decent sized saddlebag, uh, and it's got speakers here. It's pretty decently sized. It's not big. Uh, for a touring bike I think it's on the smaller side and then finally you have the tool pack uh, again to open the tool pack press that button this pops open pull it open uh, and that's as high up as it will go underneath you have an LED light this works when uh, the bike is turned on right now it's not so it's not gonna the lights not gonna work the two speakers on either side and you have a decent amount of storage space uh, they say you can fit two helmets in it but I doubt it uh, this looks a little too small to fit two helmets in so I tried to fit two full face helmets uh, in the tool pack of the R18 and yeah no good no good uh, these are both my personal helmets LS2 and it's an AJC I think they're both excels no they do not fit you cannot fit two full face helmets in it you could do a full face and maybe a face helmet in here but two full faces nope and i've tried different combinations as well uh moving them around nope you cannot fit two full face helmets in the tool pack as for the saddlebags 
those are pretty small saddlebags let me see if i can fit in my tripod in there uh, it does semi fit if i try to close it it'll stop right there see it doesn't close and i've tried it the other way as well so just so that you guys can see put this way in now this has a speaker here so maybe that's hindering it or whatever uh, we'll see it won't close this way either so nope that doesn't fit so the abysmal storage space aside uh, there are a few other things that I wish were a little different on this motorcycle I mean well I've complained a lot about the stock seat on this ride and yes it is horrible at this point of time sitting on the seat for these many days for these many hours uh, it is painful no doubt Secondly, the riding position. I don't know if there's much we can do about the riding position of this motorcycle, given that you know the box of twins stick out from both sides, or it's or maybe it's just me. I'm used to my Indian, and when I'm riding, I'm uh, cruising on a touring motorcycle. I like I like my feet forward in the feet forward position. This this is not in the feet forward position, and there's not really a lot of room for you to move your feet around. So yeah, not a big fan of those things. After a long day of riding, welcome to Iowa, people. Iowa! Lots of greenery all around. Lots of greenery all around. We just keep on rolling. a little bit of a detour and now I'm in Missouri and going through some unpaved road of sorts. Uh, I won't really call this gravel but it's unpaved and I just wanted to take this bike and see how it does over here. <laughs> because why not? Why not take a 950 pound bike on some loose pavement? <laughs> or loosely packed roads. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, the setting sun in my eyes. Huh, doesn't get any better does it? But you know what? This is the golden hour. Things look so beautiful here. So beautiful. Sunsets aside, whoa, welcome to Kansas. <laughs> oh, now we're, we're headed into Kansas and uh, just, you know, wanted to, I've always wanted to ride through Kansas uh, just for one reason, so that when I leave it, I can say, well, we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> oh, but the lush greenery continues, man. The lush greenery continues. 
beautiful roads. I'm on Kansas 9. This is pretty good. This is a pretty beautiful, beautiful road. Lots of greeneries. A oh, little, little bit of twisties, so to say. A little bit of twisted turns all over, all around here. Uh, beautiful lakes. A little bit, yeah, lake pond, whatever you might want to call it. But yeah, um, I'm a big fan of all the greenery. Riding through and seeing as much of the country that I can see. I've been riding all day and it's, the sun has set and it's getting dark, but guess what? <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore, we're leaving Kansas. <laughs> well, it's been a nice long day of riding today. I've covered about 600 odd miles. Uh, started from Valentine, Nebraska, I rode through all through Nebraska into Iowa, Missouri, a little bit of Kansas, and now we're back in Missouri, uh, headed towards Columbia. The goal is to reach Columbia, so it's about an hour away or something from St. Louis. So I can wake up in the morning and just head on down to St. Louis, get the bike serviced and uh, all that good stuff done, taken care of. Now, as uncomfortable as I've, I've said that the seat is and the riding position is and all of that, uh, I am still, this, this motorcycle has been rock solid. It's not given me any troubles, any problems other than the occasional you know, uh, adaptive cruise failing and uh, the BMW Motorrad app is a little bit glitchy, is a bit glitchy no doubt, like at times it just stops responding and um, it just keeps, we just give that circle, it just keeps circling and circling and circling and you get nothing, but the bike has been solid, it's not given me any problems whatsoever uh, up into Colorado through those crazy hot days in Nevada and all of that, no it's been, it's been really rock solid so has it been the most comfortable? <laughs> Probably not, but dependable for sure. Been a good companion for 5,000 plus miles. And once again, I'm, I'm just so happy, so thrilled, so honored to be riding for the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation, Ride for Kids, who are raising funds and spreading awareness for them. A great cause to be a part of. And a huge shout out to all of our, all of my donors and people who've been donating to the cause. A huge, huge, huge shout out on this is a great, this has been a great journey, a great way of seeing the country and of several new experiences. I was on the local uh, radio for a couple of days and uh, we were talking about my journey. So, hey, this has been amazing. A huge shout out to all of my friends and supporters who made this happen. Thank you guys so, so much. Well guys, keep your knees in the breeze and I'll see you on day 16 whenever that comes out. Bro out! Mm -hmm.